Hi and welcome to Kit Plus TV. I'm Matt Robbins and we are welcoming into the studio today Todd Musgrave, Matt from Marshall Electronics. Hi Todd, how are you doing? Doing great. Thanks for having me again. <clears throat> good, good, good. Great to see you. So Marshall have had a, have had a busy year. You've released lots of new products and partnerships as we heard recently with the BR Remote and their miniature pan, pan tilt solution that you've been doing. Um, so have, you, have you got any more news for us? Have you got any more releases on their way or anything that's happened around IBC? Yeah, in fact, I have a number of things here I can show you. Um, I wish I was showing you it in uh, Amsterdam, but uh, here we are. Of course, yeah. Um, so, so we're, we're releasing, uh, we have a line of POV cameras, obviously, but we're releasing a USB yeah. version of our, uh, of our camera. Uh, so you can go USB exactly. three right in USB cable right into your computer uh, and do um, you know video chat uh, remote uh, lecture um, remote streaming so it's essentially the same in that it has interchangeable lenses uh, and all the broadcast settings that all of our POV cameras have so it's a USB dedicated version of our CV five hundred three camera. Um, Does it, is it USB course, only? Can I ask Todd? It, it's USB three only. So it's the same camera as our 503 yeah, yeah, yeah. only in USB format. Yeah. yeah. So if you, people are streaming, obviously cool. we're doing a lot more streaming and live, uh, remote, uh, streaming, uh, applications, uh, with, with, uh, social distancing. So it's, it's very useful. And then, and in the U S we have universities, we have, uh, yeah, you know, K through 12, we have everybody doing remote or mostly remote uh, lecturing. So it's very useful there, uh, but also in live streaming, live music, live event from studio type thing, right? Um, and then we talked about uh, recently the PT head, which uh, enhances our POV line quite a bit in being able to move a fixed shot. So that's very interesting for us. We're always looking to uh, to partner with, with um, very strong engineering background uh, companies, and, and I saw that you uh, yeah. interviewed David uh, recently from BR Remote. So, so that partnership is is going to be very nice for yeah. both of us. I think it's going to get uh, some exposure and, and enhance each other's offerings, which is always what we're trying to do. Um, then we have uh, a little bit later in the year, we have two new NDI cameras. So, so this is our CV seven thirty. Brilliant. Uh, with NDI capability. So we're talking about 4K60 with a 12G SDI output, HDMI, and NDI capability. Right. So that's going to be very uh, nice. Uh, NDI, obviously, with uh, low latency, uh, lossless video transmission, uh, and that kind of thing. We also have the CV630 in the NDI format. So uh, that'll be uh, coming uh, within the next two months, uh, NDI HX with 4K30 capability. So two price points. This is a 3G SDI, uh, the NDI and the HDMI outputs. So we have two price thresholds these, in NDI can now. Can I ask a quick question on those? Can I ask uh -huh. a quick question on those? The, do these, um, are these part of the same family? Are they, is this an upgrade to what is the relatively recent IP cameras that you released or are they a completely different product? Well, no. So, so essentially, it's the same camera. Um, the 730 BK uh, and then the 630 IP. Both of those were IP cameras released um, with standard H.265, HEVC, and uh, high vision SRT capability. We then took those same models and added the NDI chip and functionality. So, uh, th this would service those NDI platforms where. Where NDI is useful uh, in in the application, or you're plugging into NDI yeah. uh, workflow tools. So we're very excited about that. But we'll have two different versions: the 730 and then the 730 NDI. Same with the 630. We'll have a CV 630 IP and then a CV 630 NDI. So so we want to service a wide range of of workflow applications, and we think uh, by adding the NDI, NDI is becoming very popular, obviously. So. Uh, we want to be able to service those as well. Fantastic. And you say later in the year, have you got any ideas for, for both NDI product and the USB product? Because, of course, you know, everyone wants a good quality USB camera at the moment. Um, any ideas of shipping dates on those when they're going to be available? So the 503 youth 
3 is the new uh, USB camera you speak of. Um, yeah. That will be out yeah. in the month of October. So we'll be shipping that mid-October. Uh, we are having what we call a soft launch on the 730 NDI and the 630 NDI uh, within 30 days. And then bulk of product shipping within two to three months. Thanks, Todd. And could you tell us where we should link our viewers to to find out more information? Sure. Um, on marshall-usa.com, uh, you can scroll to the bottom and plug in the country that uh, where you exist, and and uh, and it will link you to local suppliers. That's brilliant. The link will be on screen now, and of course, go to kitplus.com to find out more interviews that we've conducted over IBC Showcase 2020. Thanks again. Thank you, Matt.